Um, I just want to ask you, do you think a person standing at the back of the room would have thought there was any collusion between CASA and ATSB over the reporting of this incident? I would hope not, Senator. Righto. But you don't think there was? A actual collusion between... Uh -huh. oh, oh, yeah, definitely not, Senator. Right. So I think... So, so I let, oh, oh, sorry. Mr Dolan, um, thanks very much for this. My discussion yesterday with Mr John McCormack gave me some confidence that CASA was looking for systemic answers and amenable to our approach. Since then, CASA has changed its rhetoric and seems to be hardening its view that, the, that there has been a regulatory breach that needs to be addressed. And that was in 10th of February 10, 18th of August 10, to Mr McCormack from Mr Farquharson. The above reference report is Gee, now... Come. sorry, you might want to speak into that. Yeah. The above... No, the above... Um, Reference report is now complete. I've signed this and placed a copy on trim. You indicate the report should not be made available outside CASA uh, until you've accepted the report, blah, blah, blah. I have discussed the report with ATSB and there are no differences in the key areas which eventually will be published by them in their report. Um, Excuse me, sir. Uh, sir. Who's the email from to, Senator, sorry? Is that it's from from an officer with his CASA. A, a CASA officer to to me to uh, okay. to, uh, to you CC to Mr Farquharson. I would have thought it indicated collusion, but anyhow. And another one from a CASA officer. Same thing from Mr Farquharson to Mr McCormick CC to the CASA officer when redacted has confirmed the fuel calculations redacted would like to discuss in general the report with atsb in any discussions redacted would not provide the atsb with a copy of the report but would we'll talk about the salient points <laughs> you don't think there was collusion no no senator in fact that's that is in keeping uh, given that it's a bit bit, in, a bit general but um I, I think i follow the trial um no, in actual fact, to go sort of, if I could from the start, uh, I said that the report was not to be released for the reasons given that I did not want it to be con to contaminate the ATSB's approach to what they were doing. Uh, there was no need for us to, to take any external action until the ATSB had com had a fair chance to complete their but, but report without us interfering with it. So I think <laughs> the person standing at the back of the room would be brain dead if they didn't actually interpret that in the discussions and giving people confidence and you changing your rhetoric, there wouldn't have been a discussion about the two reports between the two people. Oh, yes, but there has to be, Senator. And the discussion, as I said, it's outlined by Mr Sankston. It's also outlined in our response to Mr Sankston. You don't think that's collusion? 26th of March. No, we're required to, to interact with the ATSB. The question about what are your lines of inquiry? Uh, are, what areas are you looking at? Is in general terms. We hadn't formed our opinion or done our report yeah. at that stage either. That is required. The directly interested par parties uh, uh, process requires us to respond. But you and shouldn't be, be talking to nuance one another's reports, should you? No, no, not at all, Senator. Our report hadn't been done either at ATSP. I would have thought that that was part of the lead up to nuancing, but anyhow. Um, oh, sorry, so if, I, if, if I could, Chair, do, I'd ask just, Dr Alley to add a little bit to that. Very quickly, Senator. Um, the thrust of much of the discussion this morning has been, fairly enough, on the importance of ensuring an open and frank exchange of information between two agencies. The purpose of that has to be to bring to the attention of one agency or the other the view that maybe you've got something wrong or maybe you need to think about this or maybe this needs to be different. I would be concerned if the product of those exchanges didn't from time to time lead to agencies changing yeah, yeah, their I mind. I accept that, but I just, I would be concerned if it led to a jointly agreeable new 